Hey everyone, my name is Poison Blade and welcome back to Kern Al Bashar. I hope all of you are doing well today. And for today I'm going to be building a habitat for the Bactrian camel. Or just the camel. Probably going to use those two names interchangeably. But with that being said, I'm going to head straight into today's build. So just a quick heads up, but I'm very proud of myself for keeping that intro short. Usually my school brain results in them being way too long. And sometimes they are even stories in themselves. So proud of myself for keeping that intro short. But for the camel habitat, there's actually two things that I want to talk about. First of all, it's location and historical accuracy. Actually, I'm going to probably keep that one for later because the other thing that I want to talk about when it comes to the camel habitat is that it's built for Rudy Remcamo, who might be watching because let's face it, I'm probably going to tag him in whatever tweet goes up when this video goes live because I'm on YouTube, I like attention. So he might be watching, if so, hey. But it's built with Rudy Remcomo in mind because you guys might remember. Back in the day, Rudy actually did a showcase on Kernal Bashar. This is three or four months ago, so don't know why I said back in the day. Because that sounds like he did it in like 1960s or something. But Rudy did a showcase on Kernal Bashar. And ever since, I wanted to show my appreciation and thankfulness for that by making him included in Kern al-Bashar or just building something for him in Kern al-Bashar. So that's why I wanted to make sure that the first camel habitat that I built in Kern al-Bashar is built with him in mind. Not really dedicated to him because I wanted to make sure that every time I built something for someone, the reference to that is somewhat vague so that anyone who doesn't know doesn't immediately spot it. But I wanted to make sure that this camel habitat was built with Rudy in mind. Yeah, let's just say I did actually show my appreciation in the comments for that video with the showcase that he did. Which um, also included that I pointed out that he did not recognize Mashav Castle. Which I had just finished because I still remember really hastily, well not hastily but really trying to make sure that Mashav Castle was finished before he did his showcase. I still remember quickly sending him the link to the, well not the link, but sending him the park file or shoe file. And then he did not recognize Mashav Castle. So now I might pick up my pitchfork, but I'm going to give him two reasons why he needs to pick up the pitchfork. But again, it still kind of stinks that he did not recognize Mashav Castle from Assassin's Creed, but that's my pitchfork, and then Rudy probably has two because this is going to be me coming clean. But um, so I've been watching Rudy for a long time, long before I started making videos myself. But at first, Rudy well has a profile picture of a camel because he is the camel. But for a long time. I did not truly realize all the things with his profile picture because I now realize that the black stripe on the camel is supposed to probably be like a sweatband or hairband. But for a long time, and here's where Rudy can pick up his pitchfork, but for a long time I thought that Rudy was just really bad at drawing and that it was like supposed to represent sunglasses and not a sweatband or hairband. So yeah, I did not realize what it actually was and just thought that Rudy was really bad at drawing. And then the reason where he can pick up his second pitchfork and where you guys can also pick up your pitchforks. But later in today's video, there's a statue that I built for him, which I'm just going to say includes that sweatband. Now I know that it is a sweatband or think it's a sweatband or a hairband. It's not my best statue, so I'm already going to prepare you guys for that. It's not my best statue, but it's the one obvious reference to this habitat being built with Rudy in mind. And again, maybe you're watching this Rudy, maybe you're not. But I mean, I'm on YouTube. As I said before, I like attention, so I'm probably going to tag you in whatever tweet goes up when this video goes live. But with that being said, and there's another story about Rudy, or at least with the camels, which also relates to Rudy, which I'm going to talk about later when we get to that point. 
But the other thing that I wanted to talk about is well, the historical accuracy and location of this place. Because so far, whenever I include someone in Kean al it's always like a manor or a house. I mean, we have Kane's manor, Alia's manor. There are some other houses for people in Kean al But for the camels, I did not want to build a manor. Because I wanted to include it with the actual palace. But since the palace has now have a little bit more of a backstory or a little bit more lore in that it's a former castle that's slowly transforming into a palace i thought it would be more accurate to have the camels as the sultan's stable at least the camel habitat as the sultan's stables so that is why the stables are inside the actual well palace slash former castle just the royal palace of bashar has the camels actually in this place because back in the day and I want to make sure that you guys make sure to do your own research don't just think that whatever I say is correct I always want to say like if I'm not correct please point it out but from what I know back in the day riding animals such as horses but maybe also camels were highly priced animals this is also why whenever there's like a movie where let's say a horse is carrying or is like before or after the plow let's just say is carrying the plow i always am a little bit frustrated because a horse would be too much of an expensive animal to be used for such a job most likely a let's say a peasant who most likely will be you know plowing the fields would have used a ox for that or oxen for that because Horses were just too expensive. They were too priced to do such a job, which a horse can do that job, of course. But as I said, it's just too highly priced of an animal to, in a way, be wasted on that job. And also, if you like see peasants riding horses, unless it's literally their only possession, I don't think they would be able to afford an actual horse. Most likely, like, you would be higher up on like the economics ladder or like the wealth ladder to actually be able to afford a horse. And if you do afford a horse, you would not use it to carry the plow. So um, yeah, whenever I see that in a movie, then it's just like strike one. But anyway, so as I said, this is m mostly the reason why the habitat is actually inside the castle walls. Just because... Well, they are prized animals and there's also like the sultan probably doesn't want to walk too far to get to well his horse but in this case his camel which in can al bashar of course works because the setting and the teaming like don't know if camels back then were as priced as a horse i don't think so i think that well in arabia or like just the Middle East and such, I still think that horses were more highly priced than a camel. But in this case, it's camels because it fits in with Kean al Bashar. So that's why it's here. And there's actually a thing when it comes to the stables because this is somewhat of a shameless plug again for my stream. But I feel like every time I mention me streaming, it feels like I'm trying to plug my streams. But it was actually a issue with the stables because you can see that the entrance to the stables is well pillars or columns well most likely pillars the camel actually has quite a larger hitbox than the visual of the end so i thought because the camel if you put it sideways looks like it can fit through the well pillars into the actual stables i thought all right this is fine Nope, half, well not halfway, but at the end of the stream, I and all of the others who were watching saw that the camel's hitbox is too large. So Rudy was too large to fit into the stables. So then I kind of had a small crisis because as I said, this habitat is built with him in mind. But then I also did not want to... You know take apart the stables because i had by this point i think spent an hour on them so i didn't want to take them apart and so i thought like all right maybe i can build like a build with rudy in mind later 
and then try and fix this stable or at least find an animal that would work and still you know it being a stable so then i thought zebras but then like even i don't want zebras as like the riding animals for the sultan and then i s still remembered from the video where i talked about my issues because i did look up the modding well community but just the mods for canal for canal bazaar for planet zoo <laughs> yeah there was a persian onager don't really know too much about the animal but it looked like a donkey there is also a donkey i yeah there's a, i think somalian donkey uh, as a mod so i tried to make that work for i think the last 20 minutes of the stream i tried to make it work so that the zebra was replaced with a persian onager which again looked like a donkey but i could not get it to work let's just say i tried for an hour after the stream so spent 20 minutes on stream and then i ended the stream because i could not get it to work then spend another hour trying to make it work but in the end didn't work so i had to well face the facts and either i had to sort of transform the stables or i had to make this habitat for a different animal and you can see that i revamped the stables which basically meant replacing the pillars with well now columns so the camel can now fit in it so now rudy is not too chunky to fit in it but uh, yeah this was not the original intent for the stables it still works my mind is still thinking a little bit of like why doesn't the camel fit why doesn't rudy fit in the stables because when you put the camel sideways it looks like he would totally fit but yeah the hitbox of the animal is just too large anyway so i fixed it i also made the habitat actually larger because i realized because the crown space that the habitat gives is larger than what is actually in the habitat because when you click on like the habitat gate it gives you like the floor space of the habitat but that this does not include everything that's like obstructed for the animal so i placed this stable or the camel habitat in well in the corner of the castle so there are castle walls towers in this habitat which make the actual habitat space smaller so i had to make it larger so you can see that by now the habitat is almost twice the size that it originally was and i'm actually quite happy with that because it gave me more well area to actually decorate the habitat more than it just being a stable kind of put the stable a little bit more in the background which might be a reference to me having to change it because rudy became too chunky for it but yeah again rudy if you're watching i think this is your third pitch for it by now maybe you're also running towards Nether the netherlands now i built you a habitat a, and i would say a pretty beautiful habitat you know maybe throw the pitchfork away well i'm saying that but we still have to see that ha statue that i built and i also have no idea if rudy is actually watching of course but again i'm a youtuber i like attention so i'm going to tag him in whatever tweet goes up but i actually well i really just like how the habitat turned out and even though i had to really reconstruct well not really reconstruct because i just changed some of the pillars to columns but it just gave me more area to make it also a little bit more garden like because it's of course still the palace so it should look like very opulent very decorated should be full of gardens and such well if i want to be historically accurate probably not as many gardens as it already has or at least as big of a garden as it already is but i of course wanted to also have a fountain which i'm building right now or have been building which was actually a little bit more annoying than i previously thought it would be so i think in the end i dug it out and placed it five times or so and here comes the funny story when it comes to rudy and camels but i have named two camels so far rudy and whenever i name a camel rudy 
yeah, let's just say the gamble becomes extremely um, extra. So first story is from the floating caravan Sarai, where I built, well, a camel habitat for a contest. But I named the camel Rudy because of course Rudy camel. So of course I'm going to basically now name every male camel Rudy. I built on that and it was like 5 in-game years, of course not 5 real years, but in-game years. And I forgot to actually pause the game because that's the thing when you just start a zoo. There's no obvious drops in frame rate when it's on play. So in those 5 years there was never any like notification or anything when it comes to like the camels being pregnant and there were like one male camel and then four females so i thought like oh what's going on here like are all the females infertile or all the or is all the male camel infertile did not know what was going on and then just for the fun of it i named the male camel rudy let's just say within five minutes all four of those female camels were pregnant so probably not supposed to tell rudy's wife this but Within 5 minutes after naming that male camel Rudy, all of the 4 female camels were suddenly pregnant after 5 years of nothing. So that's the first story of whenever I name a camel Rudy, the camel just becoming very extra. But then also when building this habitat I of course named one of the camels Rudy and um, yeah he also became very extra because as you can see I built that fountain or sort of fountain like thing and you know who was the first to jump into that yeah that camel really you just went straight for it and all of the female camels were well surrounding him they were drinking from the fountain which uh, of course made it look like the females were bowing down to the Rudy camel. And the Rudy camel was being extra, looked extremely happy about himself. So uh, yeah, I just now want to make sure that every time you name a camel Rudy, the camel just becomes extremely extra. Like is that just a feature that Frontier sneakily put in that if you name a camel Rudy, he becomes extremely extra? Not talking about the person, just about the camel. But um, here is where you guys and maybe if Rudy is watching can pick up your first pitchfork and Rudy's third one I think by now or fourth one. Don't know how many times I already um, he had to pick up a pitchfork. But I wanted to make it a little bit more clear that this habitat is built with Rudy in mind. So I wanted to build a camel statue because in game we have the Bactrian camel who has two humps but if I'm correct Rudy's camel only has one hump I think he's like a dromedary camel don't know for sure he just has one hump so the in-game camel doesn't really represent him so I wanted to make sure that he is represented in this habitat let's just say the hat is strange yeah I don't know really like I looked at the camels, like there's an example of a camel literally 5 meters from the statue. But I could not really get the hat to work. I did put it in and I, well as you can see I did sometimes uh, just quickly pawn it over to the actual camels that I did have 5 meters or so f away from the statue. But I just, it works, you can see the reference I think, but it's not the best statue that I've built. And I've also just placed it right at the end of the fountain thing structure and then built a house behind him because I mean they're stable boys and of course uh, coachmen I think or you know some kind of servants who are supposed to like help the sultan get on his camel. So um, I also did that made him colorful because I have the possibility here with it being in the palace. So yeah, um, let's just ignore the statue which don't know, like for me, if you have seen Toy Story, which funnily enough I haven't, I have actually never seen Sto Toy Story, not one of them, so uh, 
the rest of you can well maybe Rudy can pick up his fourth pitchfork by now but the rest of you can also pick up your pitchforks by now but I've never seen Toy Story I've only seen like the images of it but it does remind me a little bit of like you have that dog in Toy Story who is like on a um what is it I just think of a slinky I think he's actually called slinky dog or something but you have that and that statue kind of reminds me of him if you just look at the face but uh, yeah, there's not really much you can do with the rocks when the smallest rock is literally still the size of a whole camel. I tried my best there, but I think the most obvious reference to that being like a habitat with Rudy Remkemo in mind is the headband, sweatband that I mistakenly thought was just Rudy's bad attempt at making sunglasses. How many pitchfork does Ruddy? So how many pitchforks does Ruddy? How many pitchforks does Ruddy Rudy still have? I think he now has to have twenty. Yeah, at him. He's probably already pre preparing the bonfire. I can't speak anymore. But then this video is also a little bit longer, and you guys know that how long a video is is also kind of a reference to how much I'm going to ramble. Because after 10 minutes, I become slightly unhinged. After 20 minutes, I am just borderline unintelligible. So, uh, yeah, we're already crossing that. So, uh, let's have fun. I mean, this is also the reason why I like these videos to be really unscripted. Because I can't lie. <laughs> Any point. Well, I can somewhat. Because I'm just going to tell you guys honest while... Well, I can lie, but now I'm going to tell you guys, so I still can't lie. But uh, yeah, that intro where I said I'm really proud of it being very short. Yeah, that intro was filmed or recorded at least 30 times. <laughs> because this is just the point where I always mess up. It's never when I'm like past the 10 minute mark. It's always in the intro that I mess up. And uh, there are a lot of curse words. A lot of just quick fucks and then I stop recording, delete uh, everything that I've recorded and then start again. So uh, yeah, let's just say that uh, most of the time, well, most of the time with these videos of course goes into building, but the second part of like what takes most time is the actual audio or commentary because I'm way too critical and every time I even mess up the slightest bit with the intro, I just uh, become not furious but really frustrated and I cancel it and I restart. It's usually just like, well my intro is mostly like quick hi, introducing myself, always hoping that you guys are doing well or something like that because I just feel like even the shortest bit of that, like just a quick message of like saying or hoping that you guys are okay. You know, maybe for some person that might, you know, brighten or lift them up during any dark day. So I always want to include some kind of message like that. And then I usually introduce what we're going to do. And usually those things go well, but not in the right order. And when they don't go in the right order, then I become frustrated. And then there's a lot of fucks. <laughs> a lot of them. And then sometimes like there's... Um, unexpected burp or something and then I stop recording as well. I'm very critical actually of like the intro of the video. After that it's just like throw everything at the wall as you guys might notice by now. But anyway so I really of course like the habitat that I built with Rudy in mind. I still don't want to say that's like built in dedication towards him because that just doesn't feel right because it's not completely built for him. It's built with him in mind and it's built to include him in Khan al Bashar. But I don't want to say it's built in dedication towards him for whatever reason. I just, yeah, I, n I never really want to say it's like built in dedication because, yeah, let's just say my brain doesn't go that way. My brain wants to build what it builds. So I can never actually truly say that it's built in dedication because. Well, this house wasn't in the original plan for this habitat. There's so many things that I built alongside the well, roads to building things. 
that I can never truly say it's built in dedication. But it's built with him in mind, so there's... Well, there's the... Dog-like statue. <laughs> Again, like, if you want to gather your pitchforks and, uh, you know, scream at me for that statue, I can still say it was an attempt. It's not the best attempt, but it's an attempt. So anyway, that's going to be it actually for today. I'm going to be quickly finishing off the habitats. And then I will hopefully see you in the next video. If you want to, you can of course hit the subscribe and like button because it does help out a lot. And if you really feel like it, you can of course hit that bell button even though I don't know if it actually does anything anymore. I think it's just to give you a little bit ease of mind, but it's just not really doing anything I think by this point. So anyway, I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day or that the next day will be amazing. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. Bye bye.